WHBQ. 1202 with Jack Barnell reminding you Memphis 150th birthday can be a $1,180 birthday payday for you. If you're the fifth caller at 323-7600, you get a chance at it. And I noticed her the first time. So, Jack, do you remember the first time that you went on the air? It was uh, s- September, uh, probably the first week in September, about 1956. How old were you? I was uh, 17. What was your interest, and how did you decide on radio? Well, actually, the the station, I I was working for uh, uh, the guy who was the chief engineer and, and built the station. <coughs> and uh, so anyway, what I did uh, was uh, I worked in his radio and TV shop and because I thought I was going to be an engineer or something, you know, but I found out I wasn't. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, uh, he... Uh, he was he was the chief engineer, and he still owned his radio and TV shop. And anyway, uh, after after it happened, uh, the manager of the radio station uh, called me and wanted to know if I'd come out and fix his television. And so I thought I ain't supposed to do that. <laughs> so anyway, I went. I said, "Yeah, I'll, I'll do it." So I went out to his house, you know, and he did have something wrong with his television. So I, you know, put the tubes in and out and all that kind of stuff. And so anyway, uh, he said, uh, "Sit down a minute. I want to talk to you." He said uh, he was from Memphis, and they had moved up there to Milan. And and by the way, WKBJ in Milan stands for Williams, Krupp, and J- Betty and Jane. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he said, he said, okay, he said, uh, have a seat. He said, uh, I want to talk to you about something. He said, he sat me down out at his house, you know, and he said, I want to find out if you're interested in doing uh, a radio gig out here at the station. And I said, what's that? <laughs> so he, he said, uh, well, he said, you know, he said, I, I'd like to have you do part-time work uh, since you're in, in uh, high school and, and all of that sort of thing, you know. And so I said, uh, well, uh, you know, I'll go along with that. So he told me what he said, I'll pay you $25 a week. <laughs> <laughs> so so I did and and it all worked out well and uh and it you know just from one place one place to another and one time to another and all that sort of thing and uh, so it was it was it was really good it was in the, in the back of a of a hotel the whole station was you know there in Milo uh, down on Main Street and from that <laughs> uh yeah, I, I I enjoyed every minute of that too. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Uh, well, I, I had known all of the people in the station because when it was being built, uh, I was with uh, with the guy that I worked for, uh, and he was uh, he he would do all of the all of the building, and I'd do all the listening. <laughs> <laughs> and so anyway, it was it was one of those things that just fell on me so it was it was it was really good for me